Sean Murda, tell me about uh, your school's famous victory. A big day for your school. Massive, massive day there yesterday. You know, it was a big win. The lads, you know, they had at year nine they were beating the semi final, year ten they were beating the final. So this was the year, you know, the boys wanted to go and get themselves up in the B football and get that Ulster title, you know, on the way. And they did it very emph- emphatically as well. Well, tell me about the game. You did win it easy. It was won very easy. It was nine twelve to two points, you know, and. Uh, there was a strong breeze, a lot of rain coming down the first half. We played against the breeze, um, scored five, six to a point, you know, and it sort of we thought to ourselves that it would make life a wee bit easier, you know, for that second half then. But, uh, you know, to be fair to, be fair to Aquinas Grammar, you know, they kept at it and they, they kept going and going and going and keeping the boys on their toes, you know, the whole way to the end. And what about the boys? Tell me who played well. Who were the, the main men for you on the day? Well, I think whenever we added up, there was about eight or nine different scores. You know, the boys were just ripping up and getting scores. And, uh, you know, I suppose on a day like that there, big men makes a big difference. You know, Thomas McGee in full forward was a, was a big con. He's very big and he's strong. John Mullen in centre half forward. Midfield was fantastic. Shane McLaughlin from Owen Row uh, and Conor Gillen, who's, who's a year 10 footballer as well, uh, from Kilray. The two of them were very strong. But really, look, I could have named... 10, 12, 15 boys, you know, subs even came on, were very strong then as well. And what do you hope it will do for the future in your school in Gaelic Games? Well, we're trying to build things up, you know. Uh, most most of our, our teams would have been in C competition, and uh, last year, year nines won the C competition, they're now in B football. Our year nines are automatically into B football, so the two of them are in B now. Now, our year 11s now are also going to be uh, in B football, and it's about just bridging that up and getting that standard back up, uh, obviously, to get into that level again and be competing with stronger teams and keeping the boys pushing. The whole area of Coleraine seems to be on the up in terms of Gaelic games with the clubs like Owen Rue and, and, and the, work, the good work that's been done, not just in the school but around the area. Definitely so, definitely so. The clubs are doing fantastic work, you know, and I have to put all credit to the clubs. Uh, you know, the school teachers were coming in, we're taking the cream of the crop, you know, and we're, we're putting them in the teams. But, you know, the clubs are doing all the work. You have uh, at under 14 level, you know, last year you had Dungiven and Kilray, the two top teams in Ulster. Uh, Owen Rowe are now in grade, or won the, uh, the Fila, uh, the grade 2 Fila, and now they're up in the Grade one, they're competing very strongly as well. You know, the likes of Glenullen, uh, Fahan Vale, you know, teams that got there are always feeding in uh, club or feeding very strong players in, in our school, you know, which is fantastic work that the clubs are doing.